your big sis T Renee and we're back today with another story time as you can see I am working I am in the work truck and I had some free time so I decided to give y'all a story time I haven't did a story time it's like inside of a car or anything in so long and most of those story times I probably did like that they're, they're provident you know back when I was doing story times a couple years ago but anyway y'all thank y'all for tuning in with me if you are new hey girl hey or guy hey thank y'all for tuning in if you are and if you are returning whether you're subscribed or not welcome back and i'm hoping that you enjoyed today's vlog y'all today's story time anyway let's get to that i don't want to do too much we're in raving about nothing but we're going to get to the story time. And as you have already seen by the title, you know what today's story time is going to be about. It's basically a continuation of last week's story time about when my roommate from college tried to sleep with my man, her and her friends. My Mimi and her friends are April and Ashley. And so, um, Savage is my boyfriend. So, you know... I'm not gonna really give a background about that. You will have to go watch the story time about that. So I'm just gonna move on from when I got back home from when I got back, yeah, home school because I was staying in Nashville where I attended GSU and I stayed off campus with my roommate in a park in, in a town outside of where Nashville was basically. You know, like a little another community. It wasn't necessarily the community where the school was located, but it was like on the outskirts. So, so yeah. I get back home and I'm trying to actually listen to what my boyfriend, which is Savage at the time, told me. Because I'm driving, I'm talking to him, um, but I'm still replaying back in my mind stuff he said to me about how my roommate and her two friends was trying to sleep with him. I mean, these girls had they they hit on like lingerie, underwear, or something like that. Like he went into detail about that shit. And so He's all mad. I'm like, no, you really should have just told me what happened. I don't care. If I had to move out that apartment at that time, you should have told me. I shouldn't have been disrespected. And honestly, I feel like you really should have just said that shit to them because you kind of look guilty like you had something to hide. You know, but I didn't want to be insecure. I didn't want to think that. I didn't want to just overthink because... You know, we can do that as women. We can overthink. So, I didn't want to do that. So, anyway, fast forward. I'm back at the house, back in my home with my roommate. And there, she's there kicking it with her dude. I really, y'all, just could have embarrassed this chick in front of her man. I said, you know what? I'm going to talk to her after the fact. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to ask her and we talk about some stuff. Because I don't think he was going to stay all night that night. And honestly, if he would have, I know I would have asked her. Like, we can we go talk? Like, we need to hash some stuff out. And but I told her I was like, you know what? When you know, free time, can we talk? Like we really need to talk about something that's very important to me. And she's like, yeah, okay, okay. She's like, everything good, you know? I'm like, you know how people be. They, I mean, I'm not gonna say she was guilty because she really probably didn't know what I was talking about. She probably thought I was talking about something with Savage. And so she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, she's like, you know what? He's not gonna stay all night tonight. We just, you know, he just came and brought me some food or whatever, and we just kicking it. Um, so yeah. Like he's not gonna stay all that, stay all night tonight. I was like, okay, cool, cool. And so fast forward, he leaves, and so she comes and she knocks on my door because I'm laying in my bed. And so I'm like, okay, yeah, what's up? I was like, okay, okay, here I come. And she come and knocks on my door. She was like, she was like, T T, um, you you got time? You want to talk? You ready to talk? She's like, T T, I mean, you you sleep? Are you ready? To, you ready to talk about what you was wanting to talk about? I'm like, yeah, give me a minute. I'm going to come out to the living room because I did not want to, you know, in my room or whatever. Yeah, and I'm sorry if I haven't been looking at this camera. I'm so busy looking at something on this windshield. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to come out to the room. I'm going to come out in the living room. So we get in the living room. And so I just get straight to it. I ain't got time for that beat around the bush bullshit. Oh, yeah, I'm trying not to curse. Because in my last story time, I cussed a lot, y'all. I'm trying not to. It's going to be hard. But anyway, so yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm not trying to beat around the bush. I'm going to get straight to the point. I was like, um, I know we're supposed to be really close. I said, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm usually not as trusting with women or just people in general. I said, but I felt like our bond was different. Because we kind of connected quick. We connected quickly. And it was like a... 
and it was genuine i felt like our relationship is genuine i said you know what i feel like our relationship is genuine um and i'm it takes so long for me to allow people in my space especially women because we can be conniving and i feel like we are mostly honest to each other like we don't lie about stuff and we straight to the point i said so um Ben and I feel like we're close enough. I feel like we should be able to, you know, be open and honest about things and just talk about whatever with each other. I said, so I'm just going to get straight to it. Did you or did you not, along with your girl, April and Alexis, try to sleep with Savage? She's like, what? I said, you heard me. Did you? I said, did you or did you not, along with your girls, try to sleep with Savage? Where would you come with that? I said, he told me that y'all came knocking on the door trying to get his attention. And he was like, no, you know, what's up? And I am i don't know, like, I'm guessing they came up with some shit. I can't even remember exactly what it was. He was like, he's like, they asked him to come do some shit. Come do something with the TV. She was like, um, yeah, we just asked him to come, um, Move, like kind of like fix the cable cord on the TV because I guess our cable cord was messing up. Like, and, it, and I ain't gonna lie, like sometimes you know the cable cord can be a little wonky. But anyway, so yeah, and she's like, yeah, we asked him to come do something for us for the TV and to come come do something for the TV. She said, and then we eventually asked him to come and sit in the living room and play cards with us. Like, we was playing cards, we was playing dominoes, you know, we was drinking, we was, you know, smoking tree or whatever, and we asked that he want to come join us. I said, okay. I said, but why were y'all asking him this shit in y'all underwear? I said, but why did y'all have to be in y'all underwear or lingerie to do this? Like, why were y'all in y'all underwear? I said, and what make you bitches think that it was okay for y'all to ask my man to come sit in here with y'all when y'all like this? The fact that y'all was actually in there and you knew he was at my he was at the house. The fact that you in there like this and you knew we had company makes me feel like it was on purpose no 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 we i mean it kind of slipped my mind you know we just wanted to chill i said hey, but that shit weird like why is y'all sitting in the room and y'all underwear anyway like what what y'all had going on no it wasn't nothing like that I was, I was like it just don't make sense because you've never done that like me and you don't even sit in the house in our underwear we literally put on our robes and we come sit in the living room with each other so if you wasn't finna have a threesome with these girls Again, why was you in your underwear and asking him to come do something for you? It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. You just taking it and blowing it to something different and he misunderstood. I said and he ain't misunderstood nothing because he told me that y'all started talking about like sex and trying to, you know, talk about things y'all would do. Like, what if you did this? And he said, and especially you in particular was like, what if I did this and that to you? Would you like it? Would you think Tanya would find out? I said, would you tell her? Like, he told me this about it. He actually had recorded the conversation on his phone. Yeah, I forgot to tell y'all that. Like, so, he, I'm like, and not only that, he actually was recording what y'all said. And so, I go, and I play this video to her. Y'all, <laughs> the look this girl had on her face, like, I can't explain it. She just looked like she was caught. She was defeated, like, because she knew that I was ready to get with the shit with her. Like, she knew that, oh, what was about to hustle in the house? I didn't say anything. She was like... She was like, no, we was just playing, like, we was just playing, like, it, I, I was just trying to see was he gonna try to hit on me, and I was gonna tell you if he was gonna be unfaithful. I said, you don't need to do all that for me. You ain't gotta, I, I'm, I'm not a chick with low self-esteem, I'm not an insecure-ass woman, I don't need nobody fighting my battles for me. I don't need you to do all that. If he ain't come at you like that, it was no need for you to do all that. Because what I need to know will always come to light. I said, so no, you lying. Like, that did not happen. And she, y'all, still was trying to plead the case. Like, trying to plead the field. She was trying to find every excuse she can think. She was just coming up with some of the stupidest lies you, you can think of to make me believe that this was all a plan her and this girl's had. I said, so 
a Lexus this then 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 go and try to hop on top of him like she didn't try to go sit on his lap like he told me this and the April girl was twerking her ass all on him I said so they didn't try to do that what would give y'all the audacity to think that that was okay and that he wanted to to have anything to do with y'all skank asses <laughs> Skank ass it. She was like, uh, I'm not a skank. I'm not a skank. Uh -huh. Like hell you are. <laughs> but I'm not going to say too much about why this girl most definitely was what I called her. But so, yeah. She's like, no, y'all just taking it and blowing it out of proportion. It was not like that. You taking it the wrong way. He taking it the wrong way. Like, we really was just trying to test him. Again. I don't need you bitches to do that shit for me. So why would you feel like you need to? Like, what gave you the, what gave you, what prompted you to believe that you needed to do that? I ain't gave you no indication that I feel like he's cheated on me. I just told you this man misses me a lot. And he's having a hard time processing the fact that I'm going to be gone like I'm gone. Not one time that I say I feel like he's out here stepping out on me. So you had no right to go and do none of the shit you did. Whether you was really trying to do that or not. Why? Like, you did not need to do that. We didn't discuss this, so what? why? She could not come up with why. So, like, you know what? I don't have time for this. Just, I don't have nothing to say to you right now. So, you know, I walk off. I, I'm going to my room. It's like, ugh. You insecure bitches get on my nerves. I'm doing you a favor. I was doing you a favor. So I just, I just, I just was like, huh? I'm doing you a favor. Like, you don't deserve no good friend. I was just looking out for you. I said, okay, okay. I said, okay, Mimi. Okay, Mimi. Y'all almost said her name, y'all. I was like, okay, Mimi, whatever. I go to the bathroom, man. I'm, I'm going through the bathroom, whatever, use the bathroom, and then I go call him. I'm like, you know what? I just basically sit up and played the video for her and told her everything that happened. And she tried up and down to deny it. Like, she was trying to say, I told her, and I basically explained to him what she said to me about how she was testing him to see was he going to cheat on me with them. And he was like, man. Hell no. Nah. 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 <laughs> I was like, okay. I, and I believe him. Like, to some people, y'all probably like, nah, nah. But no, I've known him longer. And to me, loyalty is everything. You know what I'm saying? Why would I believe somebody that I know sleeps around or somebody that I know that sleeps around over this man that I've been knowing for years who's pretty much been good to me you never like talked crazy or did anything wrong to me he never gave me a reason to feel like he was gonna cheat on me during this time so yes that's who i trusted he was not only my boyfriend he was actually my friend before we even just officially became a couple so yes i trust this man um and he ain't gotta do all that you don't you don't have to do he didn't have to do all that to try to get no to get no ass he ass coming up you know what i'm saying but a woman that's really gonna be loyal to you and all the other good stuff that comes with having a great relationship you know and all the other stuff is temporary so yeah anyway i'm just rambling on too much you get what i'm trying to say you no know, he's like you just you know if you ain't gotta talk to, if you don't need to if you feel like you don't need to talk to her for a few days a few weeks whatever then do that you know but you know try to be peace try to be try to have some peace in the house you don't want to be sleeping in the house for somebody and you feeling on a way i said I, I really don't give a shit at this point because if i gotta beat this bitch ass and move out this house that's exactly what i would do <coughs> so he's going off like no calm down calm down and at this point hold on you can hear her on the phone talking to somebody i'm guessing she's talking her dude she's talking her dude and at this point, you can hear her like sobbing or whatever. And I'm like, now this, now this chick ain't crying. What's she crying? I was like, I was like, this girl always trying to play victim. She always doing some stuff. And then when she gets caught in a situation, she suddenly want to be the victim. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna deal with this with her. She do this all the time, and not with me, but just she does it a lot. So you know what? You know, I'm 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 really fed up because whoever she's in here talking to, she's saying so much stuff about me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just a bad person, a bad friend, and just 
just, I can't even remember exactly what it was with y'all. It was just making me firm on the inside because I'm like, you really got the audacity to sit up here and lie in my face. And I got the recording of the stuff you're saying. It ain't sound, it, it, it just wasn't, it just wasn't making sense to me. Like, I gave you no reason to feel like you needed to do that. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't your place to do that. If you my friend, just say what you gotta say and then be held on my own first. But y'all, I, I was so damn mad and I felt so betrayed and disrespected. And, and not necessarily the other girls, which yeah, they did make me feel away. But I'm like, you know what? They nobody. Um, I had my reasons why I felt the way I felt about them and it wasn't so bad, but this is somebody that I'm living with, somebody that I've shared things with, somebody that I've introduced to my family, and if anybody really knows me, they know how I am about bringing people around my family. It's something I do. And the fact that I allowed my man to come where I was staying means that I trusted you because that's something I most definitely do not do. My man ain't got no reason to be around my girlfriends. <laughs> Especially if I'm not around. So the fact that I trusted you to be around this man you know that says a lot about our relationship or what i thought it was y'all i'm so pissed off so i'm in the room at this point like i just got on like a shirt and a t-shirt and so y'all <laughs> i had on my socks i snatched them socks off i put on vaseline and if y'all know what the purpose of putting on Vaseline, if you know, you know. <laughs> I ain't got to give too much details about that. I ain't got to say too much about that. So I put on some Vaseline on my arms and on my face and on my neck because y'all know girls like to scratch people. So I go in the room. So I walk out my room. I push your door open because it wasn't locked. I said, so what's that shit you talking about? So I push the door open. She hops up. Why you pushing my door open? I ain't say shit. I just swing on her ass. So we in a room tussling at this point. I ain't gotta go into detail about how I whooped her ass. Just know, yeah, that took place. I mean, because, not saying like I'm the big bad wolf, but I'm somebody that do not like to fight. I try to avoid that shit at all costs. But one thing you're not gonna do is disrespect me and then lie to my face and think that you can get away with that shit. Like that's something you're not about to do. You know what I'm saying? And then lie uh, lie on me to somebody that don't even fucking really know me. Just because your boyfriend come over here and we joke and laugh and drink and smoke together does not mean he knows me. So I was filming. And then you can hear him in the like in the background because she had him on speaker like like gassing the situation up. Don't do the most. Don't do too much because you trying to impress your bitch. Don't do too much. You don't even know me. And you definitely don't know my man. So Yeah, when I say I'm beating her fucking head into like the rolling of her bed. Like, cause her mattress was a little too short for her. I don't know. It was something with her bed. Like I was beating her head to the fucking railing so like she had this gash on the side of her face yes i was that mad and i think it was just so much built up from other women that i've dealt with over the years throughout these years because like i said we was pretty young we was still fresh out of high school only been in college for a couple years and i just don't have the best relationship with certain women to a certain point because like I said, and once I allow you in my space and you disrespect me or you show me some type of disloyalty then I'm, I'm ready to spaz the hell out. Like I said, you really have to get me to a point that to, that to where it triggers me to react negatively. Because once I get to going, can't nobody fucking stop me. Once I get to cussing your ass out or laying my hands on you, can't nobody fucking stop me. And she knew that. So how do you didn't see that this was gonna possibly come? I wasn't expecting it to come that fast, but y'all, I was so angry and, and then, I guess Savage knew that like, he was blowing my phone up. Her dude was blowing her phone up. Um, and I'm guessing that she called one of the guys over there. I don't know if she was like called him cause she was like seeing, she saw that this was gonna happen. Like she called like our homeboys, you know, the tree man and the other guy I don't get him a rain right now. Like I'm gonna talk about them in another story time. So basically the tree man, like, they can't, cause they had, they can't, they had a key to the house. Like we gave them a spare key to the house because you know, anything can happen. We may need to go to the house, whatever. We trusted them. So he comes rushing in y'all. He hearing all this commotion. He's like, what the fuck? 
what the fuck get to her do was stop this shit stop this shit so i don't know if she like told him or like say something like you know taya mad at me about some stuff so i don't know i don't know if she told him she never really did i don't remember asking him like how did he knew that this was going on he was like y'all y'all because it's just a coincidence that you pop up over here like he never really comes to our house late night like this unless one of us call him so I'm guessing she called. And I know she ain't called him by no tree because we had recently purchased that. She had recently purchased. She definitely had that. She, they was smoking on that when I came to the house and she had plenty. So I know she ain't called him about that. She called him because she didn't know how I was gonna react about this situation that she just got busted on. So he comes in, he's trying to break us up. And he's like, what the hell, Taya? What you do, what you do, what? What the hell you hit her with? My fucking fist. But not realizing that I was really like bashing her head on the side of her bed, y'all. Literally like blacked out. Like, <laughs> I blacked out and I, <laughs> I blacked out. I just knew I was slamming her head and I was hitting her simultaneously with my fist and like slinging her head on the bottom. Like her head was dangling off her bed. Like we was like literally on the side of the bed. That's the only thing like I kind of remember because my hands were like hurting the next day. So I had to be really hitting her and she was bruised. Like she, like I said, she had this gash on the side of her face. Both of her eyes were black. She had like a busted lip. And like I said, she had been trying to, she had, well, she was trying to grab me up, whatever. But that Vaseline, baby. And it, <laughs> that Vaseline was on me. So I didn't really have scratches or whatever. Um, she pulled my hair at the time, whatever, but you know. She ain't pull my hair or nothing like that. I'm trying to think, how was my hair? I think I had like a sew-in. So that sew-in was coming out. And that's when that shit was real popping back in the day, baby. We was doing them sew-ins. But so yeah, um, with the lead out, <laughs> not that shit y'all like to wear now. Don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking nobody, but I don't really care for all that. But anyway, so yeah, he breaking us up. He's like, man. Hell no, nah. both of y'all can't stay in this house tonight. Yeah, one of you, both of you. I, I said, so, who the fuck is you trying to put, and I'm, I'm still mad, I'm like, who the fuck are you trying to put us out of our fucking house? He's like, man, y'all don't need to stay in this house by yourselves tonight, man. Y'all, he was like, I'm staying the fuck here. I'm staying the fuck here because y'all is not gonna be fighting. And, and the other guy that was with him was like, yeah. Me too, me too, you know. Well, I'm gonna stay here, y'all. Y'all can't be doing this shit, man. Y'all need to talk about this. Y'all gotta talk about this. It's like, man, y'all need to work this shit out. What the fuck? What the hell going on? And so, you know, they trying to get us. They trying to get me to explain why this happened, what happened. I really ain't got nothing else to say. Cause I'm highly pissed off. I feel disrespected. I feel betrayed. And I'm even mad. I'm still, I'm, I'm still mad because I want to get the other bitches. I want to get them other skank assholes. I want to get them bitches too, but I ain't crazy because these bitches can jump on me. You know what I'm saying? So no, and they weren't gonna fight me because me and her got into it. They they weren't gonna do that. But if I would have tried to fight all their ass, oh, they could have jumped my ass. <laughs> I ain't crazy. And me by myself, and then these bitches jump on me. I was not gonna do that. No, I ain't scary. But I'm not gonna let these bitches jump me. But you know, so yeah, um. I said, yeah, I ain't gonna worry about them. I'm gonna worry about them bitches some other time. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and so he basically was trying to get us to mend things, baby. Ain't no way in hell off of the men's shit. This shit just happened. You you don't you don't forgive nobody that damn fast. You ain't finna mend no shit that damn fast. Why you still you not finna mend a thing that quick. Like that ain't nothing you just forgive that fast. Like, cause what if that would have happened? Yes, I would have been mad at him. I would have been really hurt at him. But I still would have came home and tried to do the very thing I did to her. She could have pressed charges and all that on me. But she didn't do that because she knew she was wrong. And then how she did that to me. Oh, baby, some more was going to come. Because I know ways that I, if, if I'm going to get in trouble for this, baby, I'm going to go out with a bang. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't think, but she, like I said, I just think she felt bad. Oh, I, I feel like she, got, she felt bad because she got caught. And then I... I guess she realized like that. Hey, I was wrong for that. He been good to me. Like this is just the stuff that that she said to me. The stuff that has came out her mouth or whatever. But y'all, I just we just could never come back from that. We could never come back from that. Just couldn't trust her anymore. I didn't even I didn't even really want to hang out with her or her homegirls. I started back hanging out tough with this other girl that I was real cool with um, from another college from Nashville. She went to Lane. It, 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 I made I'm sorry. 
So I'm gonna talk about her some other story times too. I think I've actually talked about her before, but I think that story time is private. But yeah, so I just started hanging back with my homegirl and eventually y'all, I moved out. But I'm gonna give y'all a story time behind that move out. I'm not gonna do it here. I'm trying my best not to make these story times too long because the hour is a bit much and I don't wanna lose y'all attention. So I'm gonna try my best to just keep them, keep them brief and give you as much information about what happened as possible y'all but thank y'all so much for tuning in with me if y'all love this video liked it whatever please give this video a thumbs up give it a comment in the comments leave something a star a fish it is all appreciated um and again y'all if you're a returning viewer thank you so much please subscribe if you have you already done so and if you're new welcome aboard please come back and view until you're ready to subscribe but do it if you only if you feel like you want to subscribe y'all but i really appreciate if you do doing all of this engaging with my channel it, it helps with my channel y'all it helps push it out there and you know it helps with the algorithm y'all it is greatly appreciated anyway y'all i'll see you all in my next video bye